G'day, I'm Scars. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. All right, so we're picking up uh, from the last episode. Sorry, just adjusting my mic. Uh, yeah, picking up from the last episode. So um, we've got our fort going here. We've got a few things done. Um, I'm just checking out what these guys are doing here. Woodworker and that. All right, so we've got some basics set up here at the moment. Um, what we want to do is probably keep digging down a bit and we want to start working on making some proper workshop areas and um, individual housing for our dwarfs because that will keep them happy. Um, and as you can see now, I've fixed up the scaling here. So the scaling um, looks a bit better. Um, things in here will show up properly now. So if you're having that issue, what you've got to do is... Um, in here in the options here uh this particular setting here interface scaling all right um because i'm running 4k resolution um i found that about 300 is about right all right uh, you can go smaller and it just makes it a little bit smaller if you want but i'm trying to make it as big as i can for you guys for some silly reason this does not save this this resets every time i load the game um so every time I exit and enter the game, I've got to reset that. It doesn't save it for some silly reason. But that's all right. Let's get stuck into this again. So we've still got to work on our tavern area here. Uh, let me just take stock of what we've got here. So we've got a kitchen. We've got our still. He is not making drinks for some reason. Why not? um so we're gonna add you on repeat for now so just notice we're out of drinks we want that um so what have we got in the food barrels here actually so have we got any food that we can turn into into drinks i don't think we do all right, so that might be a little bit of an issue. Um, what we can do, though, is we'll set some plant gathering going on. We'll just go through this area here. These guys will gather up what they can from here. Um, what we should do is we'll set up um, a plant processing place as well so they can just process the plants and get seeds and stuff out of them. Uh, where is it? Uh, farming. Farmer. Yeah, and we'll put you there and we'll use some claystone blocks. All right, so let's just unpause this for now. There's no point having this paused at the moment. Um, I think our crops are getting planted. It's a bit hard to tell if stuff's planted or not in this. It looks like they are. Yeah, it says here that they are. So we've got that going on for us. Um, let's get some more tables and stuff getting made. Table. Let's pause that for a sec. Um, once we get a manager set up, we can just, actually, let's probably work on doing that because that will make life a lot easier for us as well. Once you get a manager set up, you can just go into here work orders and you can make an order for jobs and just say right we need x amount of stuff all right so um what i reckon we'll do is we'll make some offices over here so we'll get this and we'll just dig this out a bit um so what we want is an office office I might have more on the sub side. I don't, I don't think we need more than three. I'll just get rid of... Get rid of this. Yeah, that'll do. Because um, in here we can set bookkeeper and a broker. We've set them, but they haven't got the tables for it. So uh, the broker is... They're all the same guy. Let's see if we can make... Mm, no. One guy does everything. 
Oh, that's right. That's not too bad. It means we can just allocate one room. Uh, where are my miners? Oh, here we go. So they're planting stuff now. So now we can see that they're planting stuff. All right, you, add new task. Process plants on repeat, please. Now, the only thing is, what have we got here? Fish barrel. Got plenty of fish. Seeds. Right, what's my miners doing? They're probably doing everything but mining. Come on, you twits. I want them to hurry up and dig this out. I don't know what they're doing. Why? Why are they being plebs for? Right. Miner, what? Why are you doing that? That is not your job. Ugh, oh dear. Right. Dwarves have got something wrong with their noggins. Yeah, right, here we go. Now they're mining out this, this here for us. All right. Uh, why are they doing that? Um. Rock graphs. I want these on repeat for now. We we'll just want to make a bunch of tasks and we'll make a couple of um, thrones as well. Rock throne, where is it? Yeah, so this gets a bit tiresome at times. Go back up there. And Throne. Uh, rock throne. Throne. And uh, no, not a statue yet. Had another uh, saving the game. All right. So yeah, it will do this periodically. I think it's once a year it does it. So. Um, so it looks like this stuff here that they've mined out is all dirt and that. So we, these are only going to be temporary. This is only going to be a temporary office for these guys. Let's set some of the stones. So, all right. So what we want to do is, now this is an important thing that we need to do is get um, this set up. So we've got a chair. Don't think he needs a table, does he? He just needs a chair. Uh, nobles, so it tells you here they just need a chair. Well, that's all he needs is a chair. All right. All right, done. So he'll put a chair down there. Right, if that guy's sitting on it, okay. All right, and then we'll have to make this into an office. So that could be his little office there. Accept, and then we can add a dwarf to it, and we'll add him because he's the one who's going to be doing all the stock taking and you'll see this will turn into a more accurate number in a second there you go so food drinks and all that now we can actually see proper stock levels all right we can actually see what we've got so that's a very important thing to do we'll actually know what we've got on our shelves now all right uh we'll probably build a door as well let's put one there a door there for now all right, so now that we've got that done, we can start issuing orders and stuff like that. So I can say, and this is where the game gets pretty cool. So I can say, uh, where are my orders? So here we go. Right, so we want to start. Uh, hang on. We're not going to manage it allocated. Yeah, let's have a look here. Uh, I've got a broker. Oh, I haven't got a manager allocated yet. So, I mean, do I really want him to do everything? Just one guy doing everything. So, he's the manager as well. Now, now we can add orders in. So, here we go. We've got stuff here we can do. So, we can actually set a minimum drink and food level. So, this is one of the good things about this. So, we can go right. Repair a lavage meal. Right, and we want to change this. So we want to have, say, at least 100 of them. 100 out of 100. So, uh, and then we'll go when 
unrotten meals is less than we'll change that to 50 done all right and that's that done so once that drops below 50 they will start making um more meals and we're up to the point of 100 so he will make he puts that order out we're going to do the same for drinks so we'll get to the um the still there we go and we're going to brew drink and fruit and we will change this to less than 50 uh hang on whoops wrong button that one there so less than 50 Go back out. Uh, we want to make sure. Oops, wrong one. That one there. We want to have a hundred of these, and then we're going to add one. Uh, where's the still? Still. Where's the still? Where is the still? Not seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not extract from plants. Wrong one. Um. Yeah, so we want to make them from plants as well. So it'll just make, oh, for crying out loud, I did the same thing again. <laughs> uh, still, brew drink from plants. All right, and then the same again. We're going to want to have a minimum of 100 of these. Uh, and then we will change this to less than 10, but we're going to have less than 50. All right, done. So there's some basic ones that we need, and that will keep our food levels decent um, until the population goes up, and then we'll have to change these at some point. All right, we're going to set some more work orders, but what I want to do first is we're just going to pause this for a sec. We want to dig down even more and start getting the miners to work on building some bedrooms for our dwarfs. All right. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just do... about there I reckon so that's a fair whack down they'll dig down and then probably about three four five ish so what level are we on here so this is elevation 29 so what do we go down there there so 29 so let's say we go down to about 23 ish uh, and then we'll build out just build out some of this stuff here and here um, uh, probably just some walkways here and here All right, and then we'll just start allocating some rooms to be built So these will just be like uh, bedrooms for our dwarfs. Yep, too many. Yeah, wrong button. Um, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll draw up a bunch of this and I'll bring you guys back. Back here, we've got some basic dwellings sorted out here now. So there's a be enough here um, for about 40 dwarfs. All right, we will extend this later on. We'll have some more going up here. Hopefully I haven't breached into any caverns, but we won't find out until we just unpause and get these guys mining. Um, so while we wait for those guys to do that, uh, we're just going to check a few other things. So they're going to get stuck on the, to the mining there. All right, so you're not processing plants at the moment, so let's just keep this on top of this. All right, so let's add some more tables and stuff uh, to here so we'll another one there two tables Don't think we've got enough tables all right so we're going to set some more work orders so we're going here we're going to set um, just have a certain amount of things that we want so um, one thing we do want is we're going to want beds because we're going to need those. Uh, so we make 10 beds. So we'll have them on hand. Um, we will just set a condition here when less than 
10. Uh, let's just change that to... Uh, less than 10. We'll just change that to 5. If there's less than 5 beds, we'll make some of those. Alright, so we've got that. And we're going to add another couple as well. So this is just setting up for our... Um, Our bedrooms so there's a couple of things that we want to set to keep our dwarfs happy um, so we've got the beds built so we're going to need lots of those and this will keep us on top of beds and stuff when we need them uh, the other thing is we're going to go to the stone workers one here and we're going to make coffers uh, 10 of 10 we're going to add that and we'll just change that to 5 that do and then we'll add another one back at the stone workers here and we want cabinets all right and we're going to use these in other places as well change that add that change this number to five done all right so that's that set right the other thing there are a few other ones of these that i generally recommend setting as well so for your carpenter and these one people always forget about because you, you'll, you'll start making um, stockpiles everywhere and you need wheelbarrows, especially for stone. So this is one I always recommend changing. You don't need to have heaps. Set it to something like five um, when you've got less than two. Something like that. All right. So you've always got at least a couple of wheelbarrows on the go, waiting to go. I'm pretty sure I don't have to set anything else, do I? I think that's it. I think that will keep on top of that. Um, another one that's generally high recommend as well is the Carpenters again. Where is he? Lost him. Well, it doesn't matter. We can just do barrel. So we don't want to forge one. Make wooden barrel. Because we always want to have some of these on hand as well. Change that to... Oops. Uh, less than... Five. Have ten on hand. And bins. So bins is the other thing we want. That one. And bin. Alright, and again, we'll just change these numbers up a bit. So we've got 10 conditions of that when we've got less than 5. Alright, they're just a few things that I like to have going. Um, eventually, I'll probably chuck some buckets in there as well, and just a few other things that are just handy to have on hand, but we don't really need to add them at the moment. Um, another thing I do... So we've got the brew drinks, lavish meals... I think that would probably be it for now. So, all right, let me just check something here. Now, we set this as a dining hall. I might actually change this into... I want to change this into a tavern, probably. Meeting area. Ugh. Oh, all right, winter warning. All right, so we want to change this to a meeting area. Set. You? Yeah. yeah. Going on here. You? Yeah. We want to change you to a meeting area. Hang on. Just remove this zone. I'm going to remove this zone. And no, we don't want barrow burrows at the moment. We don't want to deal with them yet. So I'm going to change this. Meeting area. We're going to make that one of these. Set. All right. We can make this an inner or tavern or something later on, but we'll just leave it as a generic generic meeting hall at the moment yep what's going on here 
All right, looks like we've got some visitors. Uh, yep, so they want to discuss that. So we can make trade agreements here as well. So this is with the dwarfs. We can actually ask for certain things to show up. So if you're in a location and you're lacking iron or something like that, you can actually ask for them to, to bring that particular item. All right. Um, at the moment, we don't really need anything, so I'm not going to bother because uh, it does make those items a bit more expensive. That being said, <clears throat> I am tempted to say bring us seeds because we do run out of seeds occasionally. But as you can see here, the price is a lot more for them. All right, looks like they want uh, toys and crowns. Bring grass toys. Specific. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So they want that. So we've got a trader here now. Let's just pause this for a sec. All right, so we've got a trader here at the moment. So we want to send... Uh, no, we don't want to look at the cow. <laughs> uh, all right, so hopefully we've got some stuff to trade with these guys. So uh, let's have a look in bins here. Finished good bin. <clears throat> oh, this one's got a bunch of mugs and stuff in it, so that's better than nothing. So we'll take that. We'll take that one off. Uh, what do we got here? Blocks, they're not really worth trading. That stuff's not really stuff we want to get rid of at the moment. These, uh, I don't know if they're in one of these bins. That's the problem sometimes. It already shows up in a bin. Mugs. I don't think there's any. No, no amulets in there, so. We'll transfer all this stuff here. I mean, you can get rid of anything you want, really. I'm just a bit particular about it. Like, these crowns we'll get rid of as well. We don't need those. They just haven't put them in a bin yet. Anything you got too much of, you just chuck it in here. Um, get rid of all the mugs as well, I reckon. Get rid of all of them. All right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, so we'll just unpause that. And then the other thing is... <clears throat> so it tells you here that all these items are slowly getting there. And then what we're going to do is we click on this. And he'll finish doing what he needs to do. He's going to eat or whatever. And then he'll come here and then we'll be able to trade. So he's decided to go have a bloody nap. Typical. Typical dwarfs. <laughs> Typical dwarfs. Alright, so let's just let's check on how our dwarfs are doing down here. So they're slowly digging this stuff out. That's alright. We'll be able to have some bedrooms eventually. Alright, so... Uh, and you're... So if we check on this, he's making cabinets and coffers. He's got nothing going. Hang on. I thought I said rock crafts on repeat, please. <clears throat> um, mechanics workshop. So they've got all this stuff on manufacturing. Right, let's see if uh, broker's waking up yet. Here we go. Trade at Depot, so he's going to work his way here now. And then, uh, yeah, we can trade. So here we go. Here's the trading window. All right, so we want to get rid of all our junk here. Uh, so I want to be careful with this, because there's stuff in this container I don't really want to get rid of at the moment. Like the crutch. Uh... That we don't want to get rid of. And we'll just tick off everything that we want to restain in this box. I was going to make that into... That's not, we'll get rid of it. We'll make some more. So we'll just basically go through. Tick off everything we want to get rid of here. Uh, 
Uh, this is pretty much the same as how it was in the original Dwarf Fortress, if you've played that. Now, one thing I have noticed that, that what they've done that's different from the original Dwarf Fortress is they've added a weight limit to the, to the trader, so there's only so much he can carry. So you can't load him up with heaps of heavy stuff anymore. And that's right, because you've got to you've got to take some of their stuff as well. So when you actually have a proper trainer that's got the proper skills for trading, you'll get a rough idea of what your stuff is worth. So the trader's got to make about a thousand dollar profit at the moment. Well, thousand, whatever that is. All right. Um, generally, I find that you want to sort of have a 50 50. So you probably want to spend about 500 of that, half of what that is. And most of the time they're, they're pretty happy with that. That keeps you in good. Gotham? What the hell's that? What the hell? Oops, wrong button. No oh, shit. All right, we're back here. Uh, <laughs> we screwed up because I pressed the wrong thing. Um, so, yeah, we can go through and see if there's anything really we want to get. Um, animals are generally worth getting. Um... But you'll figure it out. <clears throat> what I recommend as well, like if you're in a spot that's low on metals, buy all their gear and melt it down. <laughs> Get all this stuff and just melt it. You can just melt it and you can make your own weapons that way. Um, so what have what they got here? Wheat seeds, pods, sandbag. We don't really need that. Um... Early on in the game, it does pay to probably get some cloth. Uh, yeah, 520 profit. Cloth, because I really haven't got a cloth production going yet. <clears throat> uh, and I think that's probably it, because I'm right at my 520 value here, so... I think that will do. We'll get a little bit of cloth from these guys. Uh, and we'll get rid of all this stuff. So we'll do trade. He'll drop here that he's happy. Seems pleased with the trading. Which is good. That's what you want. You want to keep him in good stands. You keep him happy, they'll bring you some real good stuff. So. Alright, so that's done for trading there. Alright, one thing I did notice. When I was, after my stuff up, I was waiting for this guy to, to come back here. And he, because he's doing so much, it took a while for him to actually get there. So we might have to look at our nobles. I don't think we've really got anyone else that has the right skills, though. That's a bit of a problem. That is a bit of a problem. But that being said, it doesn't really matter too much for, like, bookkeepers and stuff like that, because the more they use the skill, the better they'll get it. They'll, they'll just level it up anyway. So I might actually change the bookkeeper for someone else. I mean, someone that's not really doing anything at the moment, like, say, for example, this weaponsmith here. All right, you are now our bookkeeper. Uh, same with the manager. You can be... Uh, which weapons for you? You're English. English. You can be... This one. You can be the blacks. Nah. Udib. Here we go. All right, Udib and English. All right. So that means we have to make a couple of more offices. Offices. Office office space for these guys so we're just going to get a couple more chairs on there as i said these, these are only temporary rooms anyway and uh and we'll put a door there and we'll build another chair put one there and we'll build another door there. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and we're gonna um set these ones up for these guys as well. Uh office. You sept. And we're gonna add a dwarf to it, so we'll add one for the bookkeeper. Alright, and then we'll make another zone. Yeah. What's going on there? Oh, 
the wrong thing. I don't want to stuck paw there. <laughs> so, oh, I was wondering what was going on there. So yeah, we'll make the manager there. All right. And that will free these guys up from doing other shit. So, of course, these guys aren't really doing anything at the moment. That's all right. They'll, they'll figure out how to do their jobs. Even though they don't have the right skills for it, they will learn those skills. All right. Did we put a door on there? No, we did not. Uh, we'll have a door, thank you. That's another thing. We don't have any doors. That's another thing we will add to this as well. We will add some doors. Stone door. What is it? Rock door. There we go. We'll just change that from less than uh, five. Done. Right. They will make those eventually. All right, let's check on our dwarfs underneath here. So we're slowly getting this dug out here. What was that? Now you've dug right down here. What's that stone there? I saw something here. What's that? Jet. Ooh. So when they dig all this out, we're going to smooth this stuff off as well. So we'll wait for them to finish that, and then we'll start smoothing that up. Uh, Limonite. That's right. <clears throat> gems see some people are going to get lucky and they're going to have rooms that have gems and stuff and encrusted in them which is all right some people like to mine all this stuff out but when i do my levels like this i just like to have them a dedicated level if they get ores and stuff in it that's fine we can mine up ores later on we'll probably do that down here because we've got yeah here we go hematite we're down even lower pyrite so it's a potential to have some stuff there yeah all right, um, so we'll let those guys do their thing. Uh, someone created a weapon rack. All right, so we had, we had someone get into a mood. I don't think I even got a notification for that. And uh, what do we got here? Nothing to catch in the swamps. Masterpiece. But maybe they didn't have a mood. So normally it warns you if they get a mood, so. So we're going to add some uh, tables and stuff in here. Furniture. Tables. Tables. Alright, so this is one of the cool things I like about this now. Is that we can go in here. Keep building after payment. Use closest material. Bang. Really, you don't have any more tables? I thought I did an order for tables. Actually, maybe I didn't. Uh, let's have a look. No, we didn't. All right. So we need to add that as well. Rock table. Because we're going to need a lot of these down the track. Uh, let's add some conditions here. Less than that. Change that to five. Done. Perfect. Uh, and we're going to add thrones as well. Hey. Excuse me. That's that. Rock thrones. Uh, we'll add 10 is fine. We'll change that to F. We'll have these bad boys done all right so that will get those making as well all right how are you guys going with the crafts you're fine there bins uh you've got nothing going on that's all right we'll use the mechanics later and process plants put that on repeat now now that we've oh is it snow is it oh shit all right there we go um <laughs> so now that we've done a bit of processing of plants around here what you find is you can get seeds of native plants and you can actually do some above ground farming as well so here we go um so let's have a look at what we've got here we've got all the standard dwarfy ones so here we go we've got rye seeds 
Inga Miller, whatever the hell that is. Foxtail Miller, uh, Sweet Pods are standard, Rock Nuts are standard, and we can make blueberries. We can actually make some blueberry farms. So I'm going to set up a couple of farms up here as well. Not sure how they're going to go during the winter, but uh, I reckon we'll set some of these up before we finish up the episode. Uh, farm plots. This is just stuff that people forget about that you can do. So we're going to have one there. Now farm plots above ground are funny. You've got to find, like you can't build them over this stuff here. So we'll just pick a few spots for them. There we go. We only need three of them anyway. All right. So the thing with... Um, it's not going to let me put anything in them because of the snow. Is that right? So I can put you there. Why can't... Why can't I put any seeds in this one? Can't put any seeds in that one. I would assume it's because um, it's probably snow or something getting into it. Dusting of snow. Yeah, it could be an issue with snow. So we'll just we'll loot this one up here. We'll, we'll look at this later when the snow goes around. Oh, the snow goes away. So these guys are planting some stuff up here anyway. So we've got some blueberries and that growing eventually. All right, so have you got yours? Yeah, so he's got all the orders to build all this shit. So he's got that going. And then eventually we'll be able to start building some more tables and stuff here. Uh, furniture, table, put you there, put you, yeah, he's only had one, it's alright. Right, let's see how our guides are going down here, oh look at that, he's finished. I have finished this. Alright, cool. Alright, so now, we are going to smooth this all. There we go. Alright, and then the dwarfs will come in and they'll start smoothing this out. Right now, did I put, did we put doors here? We did put doors on here as well, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, I generally do this before we put the furniture in because um, if the furniture isn't in place properly, they don't smooth out underneath the furniture. So I generally recommend doing this before you put your furniture down. Um, plus, when they're working on this, this will keep dwarfs awake at night, and they get upset about that. And they've got stuff here, like you can see here. Um, he feels better after getting into an argument, so they've, they've, they talk to people and stuff like that. And see, this is not scaling properly again. This is not scaling properly again. And you can see, so this is one thing, we haven't really had a good look at the dwarfs yet, but you can see all their relationships, uh, their whole family what groups they're assigned with, so you can see what religion they are. He's not in any military, and that's another thing we'll have to set up soon. Don't think we've really got enough dwarfs for that yet. But look, he's, he's happy about stuff here, so better about getting into an argument. Uh, annoyed after having a drink without a cup. So that's a good thing. That's a, an important thing that we need to look at here, and that is uh, we need to make some uh, mugs. So we're going to add that to our work orders here rock mug uh, um, let's keep let's keep about a hundred of these ready to go uh, and we'll add the condition of when there's less than 50 of the bad boys done done all right less than 50 done all right now i'm not sure if they will do it now but when you actually get um a proper tavern happening you'll need to put chests in there and they'll start putting mugs in the chests and i'm wondering if they'll even do it now they probably won't because this is not a tavern yet 
But if I was to turn this into a tavern, they will actually start filling these up with mugs. Um, and that way they've always got basically mugs ready. Uh, and then you would have to set some stockpiles of food and water so they don't have to travel all the way over here to get it. And they can just eat in there. So we will eventually set this into a tavern. But at the moment, we're just going to keep it a bit basic, just as a meeting hall. Just keep the dwarfs out of the way. Um, and we will work on that eventually. Just not... Yeah, it's not really important yet. All right. And I might just leave the episode there for now. So what I'll do is... We'll probably fast forward this bit into the next episode and then we'll start setting up all these rooms with uh, um, furniture and stuff like that for our dwarfs and then setting them for dwarfs so they'll actually know that, right, this is your bedroom. All right, so this does take a little bit of time to, to get them to smooth that all out. So we've got snow all the way up here as well. So I don't know if that's going to grow or not. Can we still not plant anything on this? No, I can't. I can't change that. All right, we'll have to look at that and figure out what we can do there. Uh, one thing we will check before we go is just make sure that our animals... Uh, yes, yeah, see? People bring animals in, and these ones here that we purchased, we're going to release them into the pen here. And we've got puppies and we've got cats. Cats I will let roam around. They can be unpenned. Um, kitten can be unpenned. Cats can go and roam freely because they will get rid of bugs and stuff. All right, and they dwarfs will like it. Dwarfs like pets, so I just I don't like them becoming friends with rams and stuff like that because eventually you'll probably need the butcher one day and you'll upset a dwarf and you'll make him cry and he'll go crazy and he will kill everybody in the fort <laughs> it does happen it does happen they do go crazy so you can get all sorts happening in this game all right guys i'll leave it there for now and um yeah if you enjoyed the episode hit that like button subscribe if you would like to see more of this and let me know what you think in the comments below um are you playing this right now are you enjoying it do you enjoy this video do you enjoy this type of game i mean some people say this is not a really entertaining game to watch but by watching me play i'm trying to help you guys get your head around a few things because i know there's a lot of new people out there to this and they've never seen it before and dwarf fortress has one of the biggest learning curves ever in a game and it does take a bit to get your head around um even though i'm still learning some of the new nuances with the the new version of this as well so there's a little bit of things they've changed here and there over time since i last played it's probably been a year or two since i played dwarf fortress last and it was a completely different game it's it, i'm actually loving it this has come along quite it's come quite nice this game it's uh, become very good i'm quite happy to see it in the state it is now um i never thought i'd see it in a, in a state like this everyone would always joke that it'd be 2050 by the time the full release came out so yes thanks guys and uh we shall see you in the next episode <laughs> bye